everybody. Hey everybody. It's seed starting time and uh, we got some plants we need to get started because yep. spring will, will be here in just a short time. Yep. Um, we're going to start some cabbage today. We're going to start s several different tomatoes and we got a few flowers we're going to start and some herbs mm -hmm. so, and a bunch of peppers um because we love peppers yeah we got a bunch of stuff in from baker creek plus some stuff that we already had uh but there's a few of our uh packets that haven't come in yet so yeah. we're waiting on them but some of the stuff we got from uh mama bear preparedness and uh it, it come from mi gardener um, so we're going to start a few of those too and then later we'll start the rest of our stuff I think uh, we're going to do about, what's there, 40 of each one of these? Yeah. Like 80 uh, plants today, get them started. Anyway, we're going to start filling these today, and we use Burpee. Uh, there's a lot of people that use a lot of different mixes, and probably any of them are pretty good for starting soil, uh, seeds, um, because all they need is something to grab a hold of. They have enough energy in the seed themselves to survive for quite a little bit and um, so anyway you don't have to worry about fertilizer or anything for a little bit so we're going to start this this is burpee stuff um, burpee seed starter organic seed starter and it's made from uh, coconut shell or something like that anyway we're going to start filling and see what happens okay I like to put a pan outside of the, the tray and that way we can kind of dump it on here and spread it out good and uh, tap it down. We were going to do this outside, but when we got up this morning, it was about 10 degrees. Yeah, it was cold. And there's a wind chill. It's, it's really cold out. So yeah, it's nice and toasty warm in here, though. It is. <laughs> okay, pencil. Little hole. Pencil, little hole, little. Don't take much. It just got to be barely in there. We'll probably drop. I know a lot of people don't like to do that, but it, we're going to probably drop two seeds in each hole. And there's a reason. I like to take the strongest plant and nip the other one off so that the strongest survives. And that's the way I was taught, and that's the way I'm going to do it. This done back here. Mm -hmm. Some of these we've never grown before. We have grown the uh, black creme, and they're very tasty. She spelled it with a C. Oops. <laughs> I did. <laughs> anyway, they're they're very good tomatoes. We like them a lot. They have a. They're kind of a, a the, at least the ones we tried were pretty wrinkly on top would you say that <laughs> wrinkly anyway if you're using stuff for like uh, tomato juice and you need to peel them they're a little harder to do but just a slice and eat they're really really tasty i think heirloom tomatoes in general are hard to um core and slice and all the and i should say slice core and peel for making tomato juice and stuff yeah. I think they're a harder tomato to work with. And I think most of these are heirloom, aren't they? That we, mm -hmm. we're putting in. We're going to do a lot of sauerkraut this year. Plus we love fried cabbage and mm -hmm. cabbage and potatoes with uh, sausage in it and just about anything with cabbage. Mm -hmm. Chinese food. We like it fried, we like it boiled. We like it raw, we like it in sauerkraut, we like it on Reuben sandwiches. Hmm. More cabbage. Cabbage. Um, this is Copenhagen. Mm -hmm. Is that chewing tobacco? Yeah, I think it is. <whistles> this is iceberg lettuce. I love iceberg lettuce, oh, especially on BLTs. BLTs. I had to cover that because I messed it up. Okay. These here we done one row of each, whatever's labeled. Them there 
our right. cluster. <laughs> so um, we're going to take, and I'm going to set this aside right now, and then we'll water everything before we put it under the grow lights. And we'll take you into, into the other room in a little bit and show you the grow lights. All right, we're going to do a row, row of rhubarb. Rhubarb is one of those plants that you can grow really well up north, but down here it's, it's kind of a pain. Um, most of the time they don't survive. At least I haven't found a variety that will survive. It just gets too hot. So if any of you know a variety and a trip to it, we're going to try maybe making some dappled shade for it using lattice or something, um, but it, it just bakes in the sun. So anyway, we have to grow rhubarb as a annual and harvest it and then replant it every year. These are jalapeno. Mm -hmm. We also have some peppers coming from seeds and such. And they are not a pinot. Um, you get the flavor of jalapeno, but not the heat. Our neighbor loves them, and we like them a lot. That was another pepper that was recommended by Living Traditions. Yeah. We grew these poblano last year, and we actually have some over there that we dried. It's the aroma is great. Yeah. Okay, we're in the spare bedroom. I built this little frame to hang these lights on. Um, I got the idea from uh, Cog Hill, and uh, I'm going to leave a link below. And it's the exact same link he left on his website. Anyway, we have a heat register down below here. So that's going to keep us some bottom heat to this. And these domes will keep the humidity in. So they should do pretty good. Everything I've read, you need to be about 12 to 18 inches above. I've seen them actually right down on it. So if they don't do well, I will adjust the chain and drop them down a little bit. Plus we have this south facing window and we should get some good light in there from it. So anyway, let's keep our fingers crossed and um, I guess that's it for now. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to us. Uh, ring that uh, notification bell and uh, we'll catch you later.